It's finally time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Bram Bear Harvey, and this episode of Plush Family Feud has been one year in the making. And now, we're finally doing it. This is the Plush Family Feud season finale. At the end of the previous episode, the family that won was the Super Mario villains. Therefore, they are one of the families that will be competing in this finale. As for the other family, you guys voted and the votes have been counted. And the family that will be competing in this finale against the Super Mario villains is the SML family. Both families are here and they're ready to battle it out. So why waste any more time? Let's get straight into the first round. Bring me Mario and bring me Bowser for the first face off. For this first round, we surveyed 100 people and the top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name an energy drink company. Yes, Bowser. Well, I know that this has to be on the board because my son Junior drinks these all the time, so I'm going to go with Red Bull. All right, let's see if Red Bull is on the board. Show me Red Bull. That's the number one answer, Bowser. Yes, let's go. I knew that endorsing my son's energy drink habits would one day pay off. Right. Player pass. Oh, you already know we're playing. All right, then. Let's go. How are you doing today, Bowser Jr.? Oh, you know, just hanging in there. Well, that's good. Really quickly, I want to ask you one question. Uh, how many Red Bulls have you had today? Uh, why do you want to know? Well, from what your dad said earlier, it kind of sounds like you're addicted. Like, do you need some help? Oh, come on. I'm not that addicted. I only have one or two a day. Or, or five. Or twenty. Oh my god. How are you alive right now? Can we just get to the game, please? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me get to the question. Name an energy drink company. Well, believe it or not, Red Bull is not the only energy drink that I drink. There's another one that I really like called Monster, so I'm going to go with that. All right, Monster. I'm a fan of Monster energy drinks myself, especially the zero sugar ones. You hear that, kids? Sugar is bad for you. It's going to give you diabetes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if it's on the board, even though I know it is. Show me Monster. That's the number two spot on our board. Very nice, very nice. All right, so next we have Koopa Troopa. How are you doing today, Koopa Troopa? Oh, you know, it's going pretty good, but I do have a name, you know. Well, yeah, I'm sure you do, but it's been pretty much a year since the last episode, so I, I kind of forgot. Can you remind me? My name is Joseph. Joseph, his friend from school. Wait, what? Your last name is his friend from school? Seriously? Come on, dude, I don't want to talk about it. All I know is it's on my birth certificate. All right, all right, no need to get all hissy. Let me just get to the question then. Name an energy drink company. You know, as poor as I am, I do like me some energy drinks every now and then. And I know Coca-Cola has an energy drink, so I'm going to go with that. Coca-Cola Energy. Coca-Cola Energy? I didn't even know that was a thing. But let's check the board anyway. Show me Coca-Cola Energy? Ooh, unfortunately that is not on the board. I'm sorry. <sighs> Why do I have to be so poor? Alright, Bowser, we're back over to you. Just know that you have one strike, so be mindful of that. Name an energy drink company. Hmm, let's see. The only ones I really know of are Monster and Red Bull. I don't really stay on the energy drink scene. Um, oh, darn my old brain. 
Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I don't know. Just give me the X. Okay, Bowser just gave up. Hmm, you don't see that on Family Feud every day. Anyway, we're back over to you, Bowser Jr. Name an energy drink company. I know that there's a Mountain Dew energy drink out there. What was it called? Like Mountain Dew Get Up or Mountain Dew Rise. Mountain Dew Rise. I'm going to go with that. Mountain Dew Rise. Mountain Dew Rise. Okay. I have tried that one once before and it's not my cup of tea personally, but let's see if it's on the board. Show me Mountain Dew Rise. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that, Super Mario villains. That is not on the board, and that's your third strike. Now it's time for the Super Mario Logan family to try to steal. Daddy, I'm telling you right now, if you don't say G Fuel, then I'm going to whoop your ass. Jeffy, I've been to the grocery store many times in my life, and I have never seen G Fugle or Fuel, whatever you said it was called, so I'm not saying that. I'm not going to risk getting the X. Daddy, if you don't say G Fuel, I'm going to whoop your ass. And I mean it. <sighs> All right, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to say G Fuel, but if it's not up there and we get the X, it's on you. All right, Super Mario Logan family. Now's your chance to try to steal the board and the points. Mario, name an energy drink company. Well, my son is telling me to say this, so if it's not on the board, then it's his fault. We're going to say G Fuel. All right, G Fuel. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me G Fuel for the steal. G Fuel is on the board. You guys steal the points and win the first round. What? I told you so. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the other answers that haven't been said. Number three, Rockstar. Number four, Nos. Number six, Bang. Ooh, Bang. That kind of sounds good. I want to try it. Anyways, we're going to go to a commercial break now. But when we return, we're going to take a look at the points and then start the second round. So don't go away. Plush Family Feed will return in a moment. Japanese girl, a package make two for a quart, cost only 20 yen, just five cents, with lots of ice, so nice. The Kool-Aid kids are off again to visit other lands, be sure to join them when they do. Join them in some Kool-Aid too. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, so great, once you try it, no can wait. Welcome back to the Family Feud season finale. Now it's time to get back to your host, Van Der Harvey. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Before we went to a commercial break, we started things off with the first round, but we haven't seen the points from that round yet, so let's go ahead and take a look at those right now. The SML family currently has 67 points, and the Super Mario Villains family have yet to score any points. 
it is now time for the second round, so let's get things going. Bring me Chef Pee Pee and bring me Bowser Jr. For this second question, we surveyed 100 people, and the top eight answers are on the board. Here's the question. Tell me a word that rhymes with election. Yes, Bowser Jr. I'm going to say selection. Selection? All right, let's see if that's on the board. Show me selection. That's the number one answer. That means you get to choose if you want to play or pass, so what do you want to do? I feel like my dad will beat me if I say pass, so we're going to play. All right then, let's go play. We don't need any child beatings going on. All right, Bowser Jr., that was a great answer. Now over to you, Joseph, his friend from school. I'm going to get right to the question. Tell me a word that rhymes with election. Um, you know... I wasn't the greatest at English class, but uh, I'm going to say detention. Oh gosh, I got it put in detention a lot. Detention. Okay, let's see if that's on the board. I, I, I really don't think it will be, but we can always hope. Let's check. Show me detention. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that is not on the board, Joseph. That's your first strike. All right, Bowser, we're over to you now. Just keep in mind that you have one strike, so be careful. Tell me a word that rhymes with election. Uh, how about... Uh... 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 Three seconds. Uh, uh... The detection. Detection. Okay. I think that might be on the board, but let's see. Show me detection. That's the number four answer. Very good, Bowser. That was a close one, but you got it in the end. All right, Bowser Jr., we're back with you. Just keep in mind that you have one strike. Tell me a word that rhymes with election. Um, I'm gonna say... Uh, how about, uh, mm, three seconds, uh, oh, sorry, you ran out of time on that one, gosh dang it. All right, Joseph, this is where you need to be careful. You have two strikes. If you get an answer on the board, then you're still alive. If not, the SML family has a chance to steal. Tell me a word that rhymes with election. Um, how about... Uh, protection. Protection. Like you're protecting something or someone. I'm sure that's what you mean. Yes, that's what I mean. What else would I mean? I don't know. No need to get all snappy on me. I was just making sure I was hearing you correctly. Jeez. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me protection. That's the number five answer. Good job, Joseph. Your team is still in control. All right, Bowser, we're back with you. Just remember, you have two strikes. If you get an answer on the board, you're still alive. If not, the SML family has a chance. Bowser, tell me a word that rhymes with election. Uh, how about... Projection. Projection. Okay, let's see if that's on the board. Show me projection. Oh, sorry. It looks like that's your third strike. Now the SML family has a chance. Son of a bitch. All right, Mario, you guys have a chance to steal. So if you get an answer on the board, you get it. If not, the points go to the Super Mario villains. Mario? Tell me a word that rhymes with election. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say... Erection? Mario, did you seriously just say that on television? This is a family show.
Let's see if it's on the board anyway, you dirty-minded freak. Show me whatever he said. That's the number two answer, so it looks like you guys steal the points. Good job, I guess. There are still some answers that have yet to be shown, so let's show them now. Number eight, section. Number seven, complexion. Number six, rejection. Number three, perfection. All right, there you go. All right, we have the points tallied up, so let's review the scores. The Super Mario villains currently have a fat goose egg, and the SML family are in the lead with a total of 133. Things look pretty bleak for the Super Mario villains so far, but we're about to do our next round, and it's the double round, so things might turn up. Anyways, let's get to this next face-off. Bring me Jeffy, and bring me Joseph. Uh, okay, don't really know what that was about, but, uh, I'm gonna go to my spot. Sorry, Bowser. Ah, uh, what the heck, man? You knocked me over. What is going on with you? Uh, uh. What the heck? Okay, I don't really know what that response was supposed to be, but we're just going to move on. Let's get to the round. For this round, the point values are doubled, and we survey 100 people. The top eight answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. Okay, Jeffy, god damn, you're pressing the button enough. Answer the question now. Jeez. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops? Like, like, like the cereal. Is that what you're saying? What do you think? Okay, okay. No need to get all pushy. I'll see if that's up on the board. Show me Fruit Loops. That's the number eight answer. What? How's that only number eight? That's bullshit. I'm sorry, Jeffy, but that's where it goes on the board. I didn't decide it. The people who we surveyed decided that. Anyways, we're over to you now, Koopa Troopa. Seven answers are better. Um, I'm going to go with... Pancakes. Pancakes, okay. Personally, I'm more of a waffle person, but let's see if Pancakes is on the board. Show me Pancakes. Oh, that is not on the board. Huh? How is pancakes not on the board? That's a breakfast food, bro. Yeah, I'm kind of confused, too. I don't know the how that's not on the board, but I guess the people we surveyed didn't think about it. That means the SML family gets to choose if they want to play or pass. So, what do you want to do, Jeffy? J Jeffy? Jeffy! <clears throat> Jeffy! Huh? What's going on? Play or pass, bro. Play or pass. Oh, uh, 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 play, I guess. I, don't, I forgot what the question was. Well, you said play, so that's what we're going to do. So get back on your side. Uh, okay, jeez. All right, Mario, we're over to you now. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. How about eggs? You gotta have eggs. Oh, yes, sir. Especially some fried eggs. Mm-mm-mm. I love those. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me eggs. That's the number one answer. Great answer, Mario. All right, Chef PP, we're over to you now. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. If eggs is up there, you definitely have to have bacon. Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong with bacon every morning. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me the bacon. That's the number two answer on the board. Nice one, Chef. All right, Jeffy, we're back over to you. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. Um, pizza. Uh, what? Pizza. I said pizza. Are you talking about like a breakfast pizza? Like, 
People don't eat pizza at breakfast. Unless they're high. You're high! You know what? I'm just gonna give you a strike because there's no way that's on the board. That's not on the board, right? Yeah, I thought so. You're stupid. Mario, is your son always this stupid? You don't even know the half of it, Brown Bear Harvey. I'm not even gonna get into it because we would be here all day. Right, well, let me just get to the question. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. With the way Jeffy acts, if I ever bring him to a breakfast buffet, there better be some coffee there. Oh yeah, I understand that one. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me coffee? That's number six on the board. All right, Chef PP, we're back over to you. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. Well, I remember when I was a little boy, my parents would always give me oatmeal, so I'm gonna go with oatmeal. Did your parents love you? Anyway, I, I'm not gonna get into that. I, I think that's too personal. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me oatmeal. Oh, that's not on the board. Huh? How is that not on the board? I had oatmeal all the time when I was a little boy. Chef PP, Pee Pee, let's be real. No one eats oatmeal anymore, except for maybe old people and really, really young children. Anyone who isn't any of those two people, they have sense. All right, Jeffy, we're back over to you. Just keep in mind that your family now has two strikes, so you got to be careful. If you say an answer that's on the board, you're still alive. If not, that's a third strike, and the Super Mario villains have a chance to steal. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. Um, bacon. Bro, bacon is already on the board. I saw you look at the board. You can't go off of the board. Those answers have already been taken. But I like bacon. It can be on the board a second time, right? You have no idea how this show works, do you? Flip it again. I want to see more bacon. Oh, good grief. All right, fine. Show me bacon again. Yep, as I thought. We don't take duplicate answers, so that's your third strike. It's time for the Super Mario villains to get a chance to steal. Jeffy, you idiot! All right, Bowser, we're over to you. If you say an answer that's on the board, you guys steal the points. If not, it goes to the SML family. Name something you might find at a breakfast buffet. Okay, before I say my answer, I'm just going to set the record straight and say, this answer did not come from me, it came from my son. Okay, well, what is it? I can't believe I'm about to say this. Juice. That's not a bad answer. People drink juice for breakfast all the time. Let's see if it's on the board, though. Show me juice. That's the number five answer. You guys got the points. I told you, Dad. Oh my god, Junior, you're so smart. I'm never grounding you again. Unless we lose the game, then you're mega grounded. There are still some answers that haven't been seen yet, so let's take a look at those. Number seven, melon, fruit. Number four, potatoes, hash browns. Number three, sausage. Ooh, yeah, sausage. Heck yes, that's my favorite. I mean, I do like bacon, but you can't go wrong with a sausage. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, now that that's done, let's add up the points and see what the standings are. The SML family currently have 133 points, and the Super Mario villains now have 128. It's a pretty close game now. But it's time for the triple round, so anything can happen. Bring me Mario, and bring me Bowser. Alright guys, for this round, the point values are tripled, so anyone can win it. We surveyed 100 people, and the top 6 answers are on the board. Here's the question. Other than letters... Name something people might get in the mail. Yes, Bowser. I'm gonna say packages, like Amazon packages. 
packages. All right, let's see if that's on the board. Show me packages. That's the number four answer. Three answers are better, Mario. Uh, how about... Uh, bills. Oh, yeah, bills. The worst part of the month. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me bills. That's the number three answer. That means you guys get to decide if you want to play or pass. So what do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Hello? What are you guys doing over there? Jeffy, stop attacking me! Oh my god! Oh my god, Mario! Mario! Security! Someone do something! Oh my god. Uh, sec security? Oh, that's okay, Brown Bear Harvey. No need for security. I can deal with this. Are you sure, Mario? We can get security involved. No, no, I got this. I guess we'll pass then. Well, if you say so. I guess they're passing it on to you, Bowser. Okay, then. I was not really expecting this, but yeah, I guess we'll take it. All right, then. Let's go. All right, Bowser Jr., we're back over to you now. Other than letters, name something people might get in the mail. How about a birthday invitation? A birthday invitation. Okay, that's kind of unique. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me a birthday invitation. Oh, sorry, Bowser Jr., that is not on the board. All right, Koopa Troopa, we're over to you now. Keep in mind, you just got your first strike, so be careful. Other than letters, name something people might get in the mail. Oh, um, how about... Uh, ooh, uh, spam. Spam mail. I used to get that all the time back when I lived in a trailer. Spam mail. Okay, I remember when I used to get those back in the day. I don't get very much of that anymore, but back in the day, whoo, it was abundant. Let's see if it's on the board. Show me spam mail. That's the number one answer. Holy crap, I just got the number one answer. Very good, Koopa Troopa. All right, Bowser, we're back over to you. Other than letters, name something people might get in the mail. Uh, how about their children's grades from school? Their children's grades in school? What do you think this is, the 1990s? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of panicked. I mean, I used to get my son's grades in the mail. Yeah, maybe like a few years ago, or decades, but we're in the digital age. You're telling me you've never heard of Skyward? No. Oh my god. What kind of school do you go to, Bowser Jr.? Hey, don't bring me into this. Sorry, sorry. You're right. It's not even your turn yet. Let's just see if that's on the board. Even though I know it's not. Show me their children's grades. Nope. As I thought. Not on the board. Okay, bro. You don't need to shove it in my face. I'm not. I'm just letting you know. I heard the X, okay? I know I'm a failure, jeez. Okay, now you're just putting words in my mouth. Anyway, we're over to you now, Bowser Jr. Keep in mind that now you have two strikes, so you gotta be careful. Other than letters, name something people might get in the mail. Um, how about... Uh, like cards? Like birthday cards? Birthday cards. Okay, let's see if that's on the board. Show me birthday cards. Ooh, that's your third strike. Sorry, Bowser Jr. It looks like the SML family now has a chance to steal. All right, guys, are we going to chill? Are we not going to fight anymore? I'm talking to you in particular, Jeffy. Yes, Daddy, I promise I won't fight anymore. All right, that's good. Jeff Peeper, are you good? You don't need any medical attention? Mario... I deal with getting hit by Bowser on the regular, so I think I know how to take a few punches to the head. I'm fine. All right, all right. I was just making sure you were okay. You don't have to be a dick about it. Sheesh. All right, Mario. We're over to you now. If you get an answer on the board, you guys steal the points. If not, it goes to the Super Mario villains. Other than letters, name something people might get in the mail. 
I don't know if they do this anymore, but from what I remember back in the day, I remember getting a lot of magazines in the mail, so I'm gonna go with that. Magazines. Oh yeah, I remember those back in the day too. Getting all those Vogue magazines, Playboy. Ooh, especially those Playboy magazines. Ooh, yeah. Let's see if that's on the board. Show me magazines. That's the number two answer. You guys stole the points. Oh, thank God. There are still some answers that have not yet been flipped over, so let's take a look at those. Number six, checks. Number five, postcards. I said cards earlier. Postcards should have counted. What the heck? Sorry, Bowser Jr. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Anyways, let's take a look at the points. The SML family now have a total of 364 points, and the Super Mario villains still have 128. The threshold is 300 points, and the SML family went over that, so that means they win the game! Holy sh! Give me two people to play Fast Money over here. Chef PP, you and I have to play Fast Money. We are not letting Jeffy go up there. He's going to ruin it for us. Okay, Mario, I got you. So, who will it be, guys? Who's going to play Fast Money? It's going to be me and Chef PP, Brown Bear Harvey. All right, Mario, you come up with me. Chef PP, you go backstage. And with that, we're going to go to a commercial break. But when we return, we're going to do Fast Money. So don't go away. Plush Family Food will return in a few moments. If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're going to find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your title. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right. We'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of challenge pissing. That's right. Challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed. Welcome back to the Plush Family Feud season finale. Now let's get back to the host, Brown Bear Harvey, with Mario. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the time that you've been waiting for, the fast money round. Mario, I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If both you and Chef PP can get 200 points or more, you'll win the prize. Are you ready? Bramber Harvey, I've done this before. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, then. Let's get to it. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. Good luck. Name something you could use more of in your home. A toilet paper. Name an ingredient you add to food to make it spicy. A uh, hot sauce. We asked 100 men, who was your childhood superhero? Uh, Batman. Name something a five-year-old might pray for. Uh, a new toy. Tell me a kind of gift that kids give their... Oh, I guess that's out of time. You should have talked faster, man. Look, I'm sorry. I don't know how long it takes for 20 seconds to pass. Jeez. You've been hosting the show for how long and you still haven't figured it out? Get off my back, bro. Let's just look at your points. All right, Mario. Let's see how you did. First question... Name something you could use more of at home. You said toilet paper. Let me just tell you right now, that is a great answer. I know, right? Survey said? Ah! Uh, how is that not on the board? I'm asking the same question. That's kind of weird. Anyway, we got to move on. Name an ingredient you add to food to make it spicy. You said hot sauce. Our survey said? 15. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We asked 100 men, who was your childhood superhero? You said, Batman. Our survey said, 14. Okay, 
Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Name something a five-year-old might pray for. You said? A new toy. Our survey said? 19. Honestly, I thought that would be higher up. Me too. I'm not doing very good. Yeah, especially when we get to this next part. Well, I can't really tell you the final question. Eh, screw it. I'll tell you it anyway. Tell me a kind of gift that kids give their mothers that says, Number one mom on it. And you didn't have time to answer that one, so zero points. Bro, that is not fair. Too bad. All right, Mario, you've had your turn. Now it's time to see if Chef Pee Pee can get you out of the gutter. I sure do hope so. All right, Chef Pee Pee, get on out here. All right, Chef Pee Pee, how you feeling? I'm a little bit nervous. Tell me how Mario did, please. Well, let's just say he could have done better. Oh, no. Just tell me the number. He got 48 points. 48? Mario, you're stupid. It's not my fault, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, God. That means you have to get 152 points to win the game. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Mario's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. The clock will start after I read the first question. Name something you could use more of in your home. Money. Name an ingredient you add to food to make it spicy. Uh, uh jalapeno peppers. We asked 100 men. Who was your childhood superhero? Superman. Name something a five-year-old might pray for. A sibling. Tell me a kind of gift that kids give their mothers that says number one mom on it. A coffee mug. All right, Chef PP. Let's see how you did. First, I asked... Name something you could use more of in your home. You said money. Our survey said 41. That's actually the number one answer. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm surprised I got the number one answer at all. Well, you did, which is pretty surprising. Huh? Never mind. Next question. Name an ingredient you add to food to make it spicy. You said jalapeno peppers. Really? That's the first spicy food that came to mind, okay? Okay. Survey said? Uh, how is that not on the board? I'm a chef. I should know this. Well, I guess you're not as good of a chef than you thought you were. That is bull. Then I asked, we asked 100 men, who was your childhood superhero? You said, Superman. Survey said? 23. Oh. That's a pretty low number. That's actually the number one answer. Another one? Holy crap! Yeah. Name something a five-year-old might pray for. You said... Siblings. Our survey said... Four. Now that I think about it, that was a pretty bad answer. No one wants a sibling. Well, you don't know that. I didn't. But then my sister came along. Tell me a kind of gift that kids give their mothers that says number one mom on it. You said, coffee mug, that was also the number one answer. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Yeah, sure. Survey said, 40. Oh, okay, okay. Now it's time to calculate the points and see if you made it to 200. Oh, I sure do hope so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've done our calculations and here's the final score. Mario got a total of 48 points, and Chef Pee Pee got a total of 108 points. Add those up, and you got a grand total of 156 points. Ooh, that means you didn't get the grand prize. Oh, that must really suck. However, there is a perk. Throughout this whole season, we've given $5 for every Fast Money point, and we're going to do that here. So all we have to do is multiply 156 times 5, and that will show you how much money you got. So let's take a look. $780. Do you consider that a grand prize? Uh, uh, I was going to remodel the kitchen. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what? It's better than nothing, but... I was really hoping to get that grand prize. <sighs> Jeffy, 
get in the car. We're leaving. Can, can you send us the money through, like, check or something, like, through the mail? Yeah, we can do that for you. Oh, you can? Okay, cool. At least I'll be able to pay the bill for the month. Well, that ending was sort of anticlimactic, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this season of Plush Family Feud. I'm sure you did because it's the most popular series on this channel for some reason. I just hope that now that the series is over, you guys won't unsubscribe because there might be plans for a season two. And trust me, if a season two does happen, you don't want to miss it because the quality will be upgraded and it's just going to be great. But we'll have to see if that happens in the future. But for now, this has been Bram Bear Harvey. Thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the end. That's the end of the Plush Family Feud series. I want to thank all of you for watching this series because it's crazy to me how many views the videos have gotten. Like, for a long time, the season premiere of this series was my most popular video. And I honestly don't know why. That was before my, like, editing skills improved. That was when I edited on my phone, so that was a huge, like, task. And I already know it's gonna be a huge task to edit this on the computer. It's gonna take way longer. And that leads me to an apology that I want to make. I want to apologize for the procrastination that I underwent for this video to finally get released. I'm a huge procrastinator and this is just one of those big videos where I just procrastinated on filming, editing, just the whole nine yards. So I want to apologize, but hopefully it was worth the wait. And yeah, it was fun to make. Comment down below your favorite episode from this series and your favorite family that appeared in the series. And if I do make a season two in the future, let me know what families you want to see. But with that said, this is Cyan Dragon signing off and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.